to say I'm incredibly proud that you're holding this in your hands, and so am I. Because it's taken me more than three years to write, develop, and test this program on hundreds of people. And I'm proud to say it works, and it works good. Now, this has been a lifelong journey for me. You know, many people look at me on television and go, wow, you know, you've never had a weight problem. Oh, how wrong could you be? You know, most of my life, I was a size 12 to 14. And I've been on every diet known to man, whether it's no carb, all protein, high fruit, no fruit, watermelon all day. I mean, I can go down the list. And the problem with diets, at least in my opinion, is they don't seem to work. I became a horrible yo-yoer. And as somebody who was an actress and a dancer, almost every day of my life, people told me I needed to lose weight. I needed to go on a diet. And most of my life, I was frustrated and angry and depressed. Yeah, I know. Now look at me now. I've gone on a tremendous journey. And EAT is the culmination of that and is the beginning of your journey. What I want you to do is take this, embrace it, and come on a transformational trip with me that I guarantee will have interesting results beyond your wildest imagination. Now, I hope you're very excited and curious about what you're going to get inside the pages of EAT. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Mm, why did I create EAT? You know, I love the art of journaling. Many years ago as an actress, I was doing a play. It was about 250 pages of memorization. I was having a very hard time doing it. And I found myself sitting in a hypnotist's office. And one of the things he told me was to take out a pen and write in longhand each of the lines I needed to learn. And one of the things he talked about was the connection between actually physically writing, not typing on a computer, but that old fashioned longhand and your brain, and how it can affect change. So I've been keeping journals most of my life. Most of my journals start with, today I weigh X, I'd like to lose this much, and started to write out what I'd eat. Now the problem is, they were spiral bound books, nothing very interesting or inspiring, and I'd do two or three pages very diligently, and about the fourth or fifth page, I would stop. Do you know how many journals I have in my house? And then I said, okay, maybe it's the journal, it's not me, so I bought these expensive leather bound, really cool papers, same thing, four or five pages in, I would stop. Or I'd buy those prepackaged fitness kind of journals, they're this big. My handwriting is this big, and my eyesight's not very good either. So I could never quite get the hang of it. I didn't enjoy any of those. And I said, you know, if journaling is something that's that powerful, that can affect you and get you to change, I need a better journal, a better mousetrap. And I built one. And so here you're looking at the what I eat side of eat. It's very big. It's very colorful. And what I want you to do with eat is every day you bite it, you write it. I'll tell you what, it has a tremendous effect on you. Now, EAT is a six-week journal, so it's three weeks to break a habit, 21 days, and three weeks to make a new habit. I mean, think about it. When's the last time you thought about brushing your teeth? Once you get into the habit of doing this, amazing things happen. But I discovered it's not only what you eat, it's also what's eating you. And this is the part of the journal that really took me the three years to write, conceive, and experiment with. Every, every day, you're not only going to write what you eat, but there's a five to ten minute exercise you're going to write out. I've made them colorful, inspirational, motivational, and here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to cheat. I don't want you to go ahead and find the next one because there's some really amazing ones. But go slow. Every day, you write it and you do the exercise. What's great about this is the more you do it and the more committed you are, and here's the secret, the more honest you are with yourself, the better the results. Ooh, what will the EAT system do for you? All those things that you were hoping diets would do for you, but they never do. It takes you on a journey. Number one, diets don't work because they give you the food choices. They tell you that on Tuesday you have to eat tuna, on Thursday you need to have this, on Friday, well, all of a sudden you decide that you can't do that and you cheat or you miss a day, you start blaming yourself, you start spiraling. I know, I've been there. What EAT asks you to do is to find out who you are. Because that's the first way to change. You can't go somewhere if you don't know where you've been. And every day, if you look at the food that you eat, the choices that you make, you know, are you a person who skips breakfast? Well, I'll tell you what, you'll see that pretty quickly. And I'll talk to you about how skipping breakfast isn't gonna help you get the body that you want. What EAT will do for you is will set you on a path for the rest of your life that you never have to go on a diet to achieve the body that you want. And I've worked so very hard to coach people and really get them to this point. I've seen people transform their lives, their body, their attitude, all by doing the work that you have in your hands. Eat was designed for anyone who wants to have a great relationship with food and a phenomenal relationship with their body. 
No, interesting statement, is it? Now, I always recommend that before you start any diet or exercise program, you check with your doctor. It's a good idea. But who did I design EAT for? Well, most of us get to a point in our lives where we want to change, and we get frustrated we don't know how. You know, one of the things when we look in the mirror at our bodies, you really need to look at it and fall in love with it. Well, here's a typical body. What does yours look like? So you start out with your statistics. You're gonna start with a beginning and an ending point. There's even a place in Eat to put your photos, your before photo and an inspirational photo. What would you truly like to look like? So it doesn't matter whether you're young or old. By the way, there is no age limit at the top of Eat. I've taken women in their 60s, 70s, and even an 80 year old woman and helped them transform. Because there's no time like the present to get happy with your food choices. And again, be honest with yourself. And besides that, Eat's a lot of fun to do. Oh, that word diet. Now that's plagued me my whole life. You know, diet always represented what you can eat. Being a restrictive diet, you don't eat those foods, no carbs, don't eat ice cream. It, it does, it's, it's, it, for me, it just conjures up so many images, and I'm sure the same for you. Well, I got really tired of that. And so I decided, and this is one of the things that changed my whole life, was I redefined the word diet. Instead of being deprivation and starvation, I flipped it on its side. D-I-E-T. Decisions I eat today. Ooh, now doesn't that sound inspiring? See, it's not about the foods that you eat. It's about the choices that you make every time you go to eat. So when you're at a buffet, do you start at the really good fattening stuff? Do you fill up on salads? Probably not. Where do, what do you do every day? I mean, think about this. When you go to a restaurant, it's not even a decision. You know the waitress is first going to ask you what you want to drink, right? Well, they're trying to sell you a drink. You ought to try this. If you tell the, water, the waitress you just want water, she's going to go, Ooh. But you know that's a good decision. And then she's going to bring over a big plate of bread. And if you're hungry enough, what are you going to do? So here's my decision when I'm at a restaurant. I simply tell the waitress to take the bread away because I'm going to eat it all. And she does. When the big portion of food comes, I make another decision to cut the portion in half before I even put my fork to it. This way, I only have half to look at. And I think it's a whole thing at that point. And I have a takeaway for, for the next day, for a snack or for, for lunch. So these are the decisions that you get to make. Because in my world, diets have never worked. They're very restrictive. Now here's the other issue about dieting. You go on a diet to what? To lose weight. Oh, don't ever say that again. Because here's the problem with losing weight. If you lose weight, you gotta go find it. And that's what happened to me. I'd lose it and find it in yo-yo and no And doesn't this sound terrible? So I've got a new word for that too. Instead of losing weight, let's release it. Let's just let it go. Because diets also only focus on foods, and like I said, they are restrictive. Eat doesn't do that. Eat allows you to look at what you eat every day, the choices that you make, and it's going to help instruct you to make better, healthier, more informative choices. So one of the things in Eat that you'll find is a recommendation for superfoods, foods that you may never have thought of to include in your diet. The other thing I like to think about is my dear friend Jack LaLanne. He said, if man made it, don't eat it. Now think about that. What did man make? Um, pizza, pasta, cake, pie, cookies. Now, man didn't make apples, fish, meat, chicken, vegetables. Think about this the next time you go to eat. And remember, you don't have to change your diet on eat. You can eat an entire cake if that's what you're choosing to do. But if your goal is to get fit and feel healthy, maybe that's not the right decision. See how it becomes about us doing this together? If man made it, don't eat it. so often when you go on a diet or a weight loss program, they focus on the food. It's all and usually about what you cannot eat or some crazy recipes or combinations or counting calories or things that are just complicated. I don't know about you, but I have a life to lead. I don't have the time to count calories and do portions and really get nuts about what I'm doing. I just want to get honest about what I'm putting in my mouth. Most of us don't even realize that. So eat starts with a contract. Yeah, this is between you and you. See, there's nobody else in the room, usually when you're eating, especially the bad eating. Now, how do I know this? Well, I've talked to hundreds of people, but from my own personal experience, and I don't think I've ever admitted this before, but I'm the kind of person, when I was younger, who would do a hard day of work, come home 11, 11.30, and open the refrigerator door, feel the light and the cold air on my face, look for some leftover, a piece of cake or yogurt, didn't matter what it was, and this is the embarrassing part. I didn't even need a spoon or a fork. I could just stand in front of the refrigerator and eat. Yeah very lonely, very self-deprecating, very depressing when I realized what I was doing. 
and it was a bad spiral because people could see it in my weight, they could see it in my body, in my attitude, I wasn't very happy about this. And food, I stuffed down my feelings or my loneliness or, or being in New York as an actress and not getting all the things that I wanted. I would eat over everything. Well, it wasn't a healthy way to be. So partly I know it's about the food you eat, but it's also why you eat what you eat. And that's the journal part of this journal. So you write it down and that's great on the left side. But on the right side, every day there's an activity. And when you do these activities with a sense of commitment and honesty, and trust, I mean, you gotta trust that these work. Give it full out, write as much as you can and really enjoy this. Something magical happens. That's my promise to you because I've seen it over and over again. I can't predict when it's gonna change, but usually sometime during the six weeks, you go, wow, you know, my mom, she told me to eat everything on my plate and maybe that's why I, I can't leave an empty plate and I have to eat everything. Or my grandma said, you know, if you're really good, I'll get you dessert. Well, I'm really good, I deserve dessert. Well, in truth, dessert and good have nothing to do with each other. I counseled a woman the other day, and this is a very interesting case. She was a stewardess on a plane, and she'd said to me that her weight issue, her 60 to 70 pounds that she packed on, happened because of the accident, which I said, what kind of accident? Well, she'd been in an airline accident when the plane actually broke apart on the runway, fires everywhere, she was the stewardess, she survived, and I'm happy to say still flying, has a beautiful baby, but is carrying 60 to 70 pounds of extra weight on her. And we sat down and we talked, and for her, food became comfort. Food was that she was alive. And she felt a sense of, I can do whatever I want because I'm here. Yet every time she did, she got unhappy, especially when she went clothes shopping. We all know what it's like to stand in the dressing room mirror, look at the three sides and go, wow, is that really my butt? So we talked a lot about how to disassociate the accident from food. She has now lost 50 pounds of that weight. And she's happier. She eats because she's hungry. She eats every couple of hours. She writes down everything she eats, and she found all these holes. She also couldn't believe that she used to stand in front of her refrigerator and do some crazy behavior as well. So, pick up the fork, the spoon, and the knife, and put them over there. And let's get honest, pick up the pen. The pen is the most important part of this diet. Okay, now see, not a diet. You got me fooled there, of this journey. <laughs> The best way to use the Eat Journal is the way I set it up. This system works, and all you have to do is trust in the system. So when you get your Eat, the first thing I want you to do is to read the letter I wrote you. It's very inspiring. Next, sign the contract. Now, why do I ask you to do that? Because I want you to make a commitment. See, one of the problems with going on diets is nobody's really watching you. You know, unless you're doing it for a reason, you've got a wedding or a, a special occasion, you really need to fit in something size smaller. Otherwise, you can say, oh, I'm going to go on a diet, and if it doesn't work, you go, oh, it didn't work, and you, and you have this kind of weird spiral about things not working in your life. I'm going to ask you to make a contract. Sign your name. For the next 42 days, you and I are in agreement that you're going to do everything in the book. Now, if there's a day that you skip, do me a favor, don't beat yourself up. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to ask you to go back and do it, because you made that commitment to yourself, and that's what you do when you make a commitment. You take responsibility. So I'm not asking you to change anything in your diet. I'm just asking you to write it down. And that's this side of the journal. It's the what I eat. You start with when you wake up in the morning to what your breakfast is, your snack, your lunch. And if you skip one of them, then that's what you do. What might happen down the road, though, is you go, wow, maybe I shouldn't be skipping some of these. Now, the other thing you need to do with eat, take it with you. It's not pocket size. It doesn't actually fit inside a tiny pocket. It's the size of a notebook but carry it with you. Don't pretend that you're gonna remember what you ate all day and keep it by your bed, because that doesn't work. You must carry eat with you and take it out. It's only 42 days. And trust me, 42 days are gonna happen whether you do something good for yourself or not. So are you ready to change? And that's what this journey asks you. So on the other side, you do the exercises. In fact, on this one, I think I even kissed you. Good luck. The exercises are fun. They don't take more than five or seven minutes to do. You know, the reason I created the exercises and I've discovered they work so well is people always said to me, Forbes, you should meditate. Now, somebody with this much energy, meditate? Are you kidding? I would sit in a room and my mind goes crazy. But what you want to do is you want to get all that stuff out of your head and then you want to allow space to dig a little deeper, to remind yourself who you are, what your dreams are, what you always wanted to be, what excites you, what gets you motivated. That's what EAT will do for you. I promised you a magical journey. You've got to deliver on your part. I've already done mine. You're holding it in your hands. You know, photos are so very important. You know, photos serve a couple of functions. One, they're a great visual for what you want to achieve. 
I have a space in the journal for inspirational photo. And the reason I include this is when you look at something that you want to achieve and you keep it in your head, you almost have to drive yourself towards that image. So put a picture of somebody that you'd like to be or a lifestyle you'd like to lead. It doesn't have to be a fashion model and get real. If you're five foot two and weigh 180 pounds, you're never going to be five foot 10 and weigh 100 pounds. But you can be realistic and achieve great things through the use of photos. Now the other side of photos is honesty. There's not a lot of old photos of me running around because it was a period of time when I just hated my body and wouldn't let anyone take pictures of me. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite photos though and I was 206 pounds. Yeah, that's me pregnant with my twins, two seven pound babies I happily pushed out at 42. Now I'm very proud of that photo but shortly after that I was terrified. I had a very big wobbly belly and I, you know, when you push the babies out the weight doesn't come off instantly. But this next photo, how about that? That's me at 50. Yeah. That's me going through my EAT program, doing the exercise products that I talk about, and really walking the walk. It really, for the first time in my life, led me to understand that change is possible. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to stand right now, get down to a bikini or a bathing suit or your underwear. No one else has to see it but you. But take that photo. Mm -hmm. Let your arms hang out. Let your belly hang out. Let your butt hang out. Whatever it is that you don't like, take that photo. Remember this journey is about honesty? and put that photo right here. This is your before photo. You have to know where you are before you know what, you, what you're getting to. And the most amazing part is when you get that after photo. I feel really proud when I look at the before and after photos. It really helps chronicle my journey, my life, my successes, sometimes my failures. But I'm that honest with myself and I've noticed that when I really stepped up to the plate, things changed, like the size of my butt. <laughs> Well, there's a couple of ways to boost your results with the EAT program that I've designed. Now, the first one is the six-week CD Companion Series. Now, why did I create this? Well, because sometimes you need a friend, you need accountability, you need inspiration, and I'm always happy to be there for you, and that's why I created this. So each week, you get to listen to my voice, you hear some of my insider personal secrets, some of the tips that I've learned by teaching this program, and you get a lot of information that really I couldn't put in the book, because the book is really a journal and your exercises. Plus, I think it's kind of fun when you've got somebody kind of prodding you. So every week, there's a different CD. You can get more information on how to get your CD set at myeatjournal.com. The second way, exercise. Yeah, I know. There's no exercise in eat, by the way. But I do recommend one of my all-time favorite products. It's the Spin Gym. Now, why do I recommend it? Well, not just because I created it, but because it works. Now, I'm not saying that you need to start an exercise program. Just do the eat work as it is. But if you want to boost your results a little bit, this little guy, when you do it, whether you're sitting at your desk or doing your emails or going out for a walk or sitting in a car or you know me, even in an airplane, will help boost your metabolism. I'm getting sweaty already. It changes your whole state of being in under five minutes. This takes away the excuse, I don't have got time to work out. Yes, you do. You've got time to do spin gym and just amp up what you're already dealing with. This will help you burn that fat. Like I said, anytime, anywhere, I'm sitting here doing an interview and I'm spin gymming. I'm getting my exercise. What are you doing? All right, so I truly think that if you invest a little bit of time and a little bit of money, spin gym is not very expensive at all. Again, for details on how to get spin gym, go to myeatjournal.com. Now, the last and one of the most effective ways to truly boost your results is to invest in you, is to find a mentor, find a coach. Ooh, now see, you may never have thought about this, but think about the great athletes of our time. Every one of them has a coach. Yeah, and sometimes five and six coaches. They've got strength coaches, eating coaches, strategy coaches, all kind of coaches. Why? Because sometimes when you're in the game, you can't see the game. So if you want to truly get the results that you need, maybe you need somebody outside of you. And I'm not talking about a personal trainer. I'm talking about a coach, somebody who listens to you, holds you accountable, doesn't put you on a diet, but actually coaches you through the six weeks of EAT and perhaps beyond to get you the results that you want. Somebody who's on your team. And for me personally, that's one of the things that changed the whole game. See, I was kind of a maverick and I was A, always afraid to ask for help because I thought it made me look weak. It doesn't. It gives you a lot of courage to reach out and ask for help. And so many people are willing to help. And then finding a mentor, somebody who's been there before. I mean, maybe you know somebody who's lost 100 pounds. Ask them how they did it. Sit and listen to their strategies. Or maybe you want to connect to me and my team. 
We're happy to do this, and we're happy to coach you through this entire program. We're available at myejournal.com. All you have to do is ask. You know, there's a couple of ways to reach out and contact me. I love to be accessible. Now, it's hard to be accessible to millions of people, but I actually, in fact, do try. So one of the best ways is Facebook. If you go to facebook.com slash Forbes Riley fan page, I'm going to put that right here, facebook.com Forbes Riley fan page, I actually do all my own Facebooking. And why do I do that? Because I do believe it's important to be able to reach out and touch people who say they're trying to inspire you. I'm not one of those people who's created something and just walked away. I believe in what I'm doing. And most of all, I believe in you. And I believe in you getting results, being happy, and truly living your life in the body that you deserve to have. That's just really, really important to me. I wake up every day thinking about how I can inspire people to do just that. The other way is simply go to myejournal.com. You'll find a membership site so you can connect to other people. you find ways to ask us questions. And I might even have a special gift for you. That's right, of course you have to have a special gift. Just email bonus at myejournal.com and something will be on its way to you pretty soon. All right, well that brings us to the end of this DVD. And I hope I serve to inspire you, motivate you, and get you started and revved up to go on your six-week journey called EAT. It's a six-week journal for what you eat and for what's eating you. I'm very excited to hear from you, see your results, and share the joy of you finally achieving goals that you set out to achieve. You know, it's very important to me that we spread this message. So maybe tell a friend about EAT and how it's changed your life. All right, here's the deal. Remember, you're going to write down. If you bite it, write it. Do the exercises every single day. Don't jump ahead in the book. Carry the book with you everywhere you go. It's only for 42 days. We can do this. Perhaps invest in a spin gym to boost your results. And make sure you check back with me. I'm going to have lots more DVDs, great information, tips, secrets, tricks, all kinds of great things. Just go to myejournal.com. I'll see you there. I'm Forbes Riley. Thanks so much for sharing this time with me.